Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakashinguro YouTube channel. It's a weekend when we are expecting William Ruto in Luanyanza. But I want to say this. First, asante ni sana. Jana niliwauliza munisaidie na kitanda kimoja na matres chawale mayatima wa keumbu. Mukanipatia mungu awabariki. So as I'm speaking, tuko na vitanda vyote viwili, tuko na matres zote mbili. Tena nikawauliza, munipatie chakula, nipeleke wale watoto wa, wa nyabondo, uko, uko bondo in Kisumu County. You have responded. God bless you. Kwa sababu nyabondo ni mbali, na sitaweza kufika. Nitaona jinsi ambavyo hawa watoto watapata chakula, eitha leo, ama siku ya kesho, na nitawaonyesha mavideo hapa, ili mjue kwamba chakula chenu, kilifikia hawa watoto. Kaka, Ni seme hivi kwamba uh, raundi najihisi kuongea Kiswahili sijui ni kwa nini ni kwa sababu nataka ujumbe huu ufikie wa Kenya kwa wingi na kama unapenda channel ya kaka Sungura don't watch before you subscribe if you are such a type of a person who watches before you subscribe you are an enemy of progress you don't want kaka to prosper kabla hauja watch your video click the subscribe button first before when the like watch there is nothing uh, ina kukata, haikukati pesa, ni free of charge as long as you have data bundles. Kaka ninavosema kila wakati mimi sita kosa kumkumbusha William Ruto makosa yake. William Ruto, wakati wa kampeni, sichezi hata video kwa sababu ilikuwa ni wimbo. One, he was blaming Uhuru Kenyatta on the high cost of living. He was blaming Raila Odinga on the high cost of living. Jana nimemusikia akisema kwamba ati huyo Uhuru Kenyatta asipowacha kunipiga fita asipowachana na Raila Odinga tutamusafirisha tutamusafirisha that is where my analysis is going to root. Tutamusafirisha kwenda wapi? That is the question. Alisema, in broad daylight, alisema, usipowachana na Raila Odinga. Usipowacha kunipiga kwa sababu he supported you. Did William Ruto support uh, Uhuru Kenyatta in his leadership? Alimpiga vita right, left and center. It's known. Kwa hivyo, it's hypocritical when the president says he supported Uhuru Kenyatta during his tenure. He didn't. In fact, he killed Uhuru Kenyatta as a president. This is all known. It's in the public domain. It is in the social media. When did William Ruto support Uhuru Kenyatta in delivering the Jubilee Manifesto? Ruto is on record killing Jubilee. Is on record killing Uhuru Kenyatta. Is on record killing including the Standard Gauge Railway. Aligeuka kasema kwamba walikuwa wanaiba pesa kupitia Standard Gauge Railway. Halafu jana anatuambia ati unajua huyo uru Kenyatta mimi nilimsupport ati asipowachana nitauta nitamsafirisha unajua jina kusafirisha inikikisi tunasema inikikisi wakati mtu amekukosea and you want to threaten this person of killing him unamwambia ma tengo kutirinde yani nitakusafirisha kwenda kwa mbinguni eh unamwambia we eh hey, aye kongo tirinde yani kumaanisha Ati usip, ukinichezea, hmm? ukinichezea, mimi, eh, eh, mkoko tirinde. You know, ukiambia mtu nina kusafirisha inamanisha, it, it, it has a deep meaning, logically. But let's assume, anamsafirisha kwenda ichaweri. Let's assume so. Uru is already in ichaweri. Or maybe he meant, we will deport you. Is that what he meant? Alisema, raile tutompeleka bondo, Na uru kenyata tutamusafirisha. Kwenda wapi? Uru is somebody who can live anywhere on earth. He is an international figure. You don't need to deport uru kenyata. He can decide to want to stay in America. Otherwise, ni mutu ameritaya. Kama ni maandamano, uru can control, kama ni yeye. Vila munasema. Uru doesn't need to be physically in Kenya for him to control maandamano as you allege. Raila doesn't need to be physically 
for him to control maandamano raila hata akiwa canada raila hata awe australia bora tu asimame kwa press aseme kesho ni maandamano hata asipokuwa kwako kesho utaona maandamano haujaoiona taifa la kenya so you are threats are as well as hot air because as a leader you are supposed to find ways of bringing together this country you are the custodian of the kenyan constitution which guarantees for peace and unity who is supposed to propel peace and unity is the president now you are threatening azimio asif raila odinga is a kid who began demonstrating yesterday raila odinga has beaten the government Moi was known to be the notorious and governable president in the history of Kenya but he succumbed to pressure ladies and gentlemen so i was asking when i was watching those threats i was asking myself okay <laughs> now nimesikia wakisema we cannot allow maandamano at we can't under our watch when did they allow it eh ni lini tuseme sasa hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza imekuwa ikikubalia maandamano sasa haiendi kuikubalia lini when kama ni threats raila amepokea threats and this something kenya kwanza should know how i wish somebody could share directly to william ruto video ya ezekiel pastor ezekiel how i wish someone could do that ezekiel is explaining and i repeat mahasala walifikiria Kenya kwanza imeelewa shida zao na Kenya kwanza ikafikiria imeelewa shida za mahasala siji kama unanipata kwa hivyo kwa sababu mahasala walifikiria Kenya kwanza imeelewa shida zao wakawapigia kura na zingine wakaiba wakaingia uongozini wakifikiria wameelewa shida za mahasala walipofika uongozini ndio imetambulika kwamba kumbe hawaelewi shida za wakenya na mahasala wamejua kwamba hii serikali waliweka katika uongozi kumbe haikuelewa shida zao what will happen Now, kwa sababu hawajari na hawaelewi shida za mahasala what next is they are now fighting the same government they voted for uongozi ulioko katika mizani so what am i saying kaka it takes wisdom for a leader to end violence in this country it takes a lot of wisdom You cannot drive out darkness using darkness. It's only light that can do. You cannot drive out violence using violence. It's only wisdom that does. It's logic. Ladies and gentlemen, a fool can never advise a fool. Is only a wise man who can do that. Now, what is going to happen in this Republic of Kenya? Kenya kwanza should understand hii maandamano is not about Raila Odinga. Raila hata akikaa bondo, Kenyans will still demonstrate. Why? The cost of living is hitting them directly to the head. Asa niulize Bei ya sukari ni Raila Odinga amepandisha. Aya mafuta yalipanda juzi paka 196. Ni Raila Odinga alipandisha. Hii chumvi mlipandisha juzi. Ni Raila Odinga alipandisha. So how is Raila related to the problems you've caused yourselves? How is he related to them? Kwa sababu huu mtego nao nyinyi ndio mmechikaanga na mafuta yenu wenyewe. Stop blaming Raila Odinga. Stop blaming uhuru Kenya. Mulibulemu uhuru mkiwa campaign. Mukatukana uhuru, mukasema uhuru hawataki, mukasema sijui ni nini, 
ako na makatari kwa petroli ama energy siji ura amepandisha unga siji ura amepandisha sukari sasa nyinyi ndio marais ile position ya uhuru nyinyi ndio muko pale sasa muko na nguvu yote tena uhuru kenyata ndiye anaendesha serikali kweli Kenyans should learn no to the kind of hoodwinking that is going on Kenyans should reject to the blame games that is going on kwa Kenya ambieni watu kweli Mkiambi watu ni uhuru muulize uhuru alikuwa rais akatoka ukaingia uhuru anatoka wapi tena uhuru hana nguvu uhuru sahi ni mwananchi wa kawaida uhuru ni raia wewe ndiye amri mkuu wa majeshi sasa wewe ndiye umekalia hiyo kiti sasa wewe ndiye mudosi kusema na kutenda you fire and hire you speak and then speak you sit and then sit so why have you not dealt with the cartels that you alleged in the petroleum energy mimi nakumbuka vizuri akisema ati sasa tunataka tumwambie uhuru kenyata aitishe kikao cha darura aitishe kikao cha kamati ya bunge aitishe kikao cha kamati ya minister petroleum kwa haraka sana waangalie bei ya mafuta ndio wa Kenya washiumie na kuna makateli kwa hiyo yani all sorts of propaganda and lies that never comes to an end when will you keep blaming uhuru kenyata ladies and gentlemen mimi nauliza serikali ya kenya kwanza mtaendelea kulaumu uhuru paka lini mkalaumu uhuru wakati wa kampeni na mlaumu uhuru mkiwa kwa serikali ai wa kenya si hata nyinyi hamuoni yani kenyans you can't even see what is going on For how long will these guys keep blaming Uhuru Kenyatta? You are one year in power. Mshamaliza mwaka katika uongozi. Mnaelekea kumaliza mwaka katika uongozi. Bado you are blaming Uhuru Kenyatta surely. So, hata baada ya second term, you will still blame Uhuru Kenyatta for your downfall. Even in 2027 campaigns, you will be still campaigning using Uhuru Kenyatta's name. Kenya iko na shida kubwa. Kenya has a big problem. But I want to tell Kenyans as i conclude one asruto used to say kwamba wajinga waliisha hii kenya we also tell him wajinga waliisha hii kenya kenyans are not awake in the dispensation of social media kenyans are awake kila mkenya sasa anajua what is happening anajua his rights as we fight for our rights kenyans i ask for peace tusigawanywe kwa misingi ya kikabila i'm happy that the boys in bondo have retreated somehow they have retreated and i'm happy because that was my clarion call nilishangaa jana kwamba jeremia kioni al watch my video nilishangaa sana i didn't expect this <laughs> so jeremia kioni also watches me this is amazing kwa sababu whatever i spoke yesterday is exactly what he spoke in the press conference in your company ile ile kilipu ya William Ruto 2012 akiwa katika kesi na ICC akiwajiwa katika kipindi cha cheche cha Odwa Kamimo na David Makali na Mtegi Njau nilishangaa sana e, wale mlifikia hicho kipindi nikashangaa kwamba kumbe hao watu wana I was so surprised so Kenyans tudumishe amani jua kwamba siasa ni ya muda tuko na mali ya kuchunga tuko na biashara za kuchunga hakuna haja uende kupiga mwenzako kwa sababu si wa kabila lako. Yale niliona sondu miriu ya siwai rudia Kenya hii. Hakuna haja mkale ni upigane na mjaluo na huyu ni rafiki mmekaa na yeye kwa miaka mingi kwa sababu ya mwanasiasa yuko Nairobi anakula kuku na hako kwake na unamlipia stima. Kuna haja. Let's all unite. Awe mjaluo, awe mkikuyu, awe mkalenjin. Those are our brothers. Let us preach peace tusitolewe kwa target our what politicians will sway us from the target our target is zakayo must come down hatujasema kwamba wakalenji ni wakuje chini mm -mm. we are dealing with an individual and not a tribe tumesema zakayo ashuke hatujasema wakalenji ni washuke please get it right hatujasema wakalenji ni washuke no we are dealing with an individual a single individual and not a tribe so don't be cheated to take your politics into a tribe an innocent tribe please don't do so god bless you ladies and gentlemen see you in the next video 
asante sana.